Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin with TinyMC editor and this is our part 6. In this video session guys, we will discuss about how can we add our fields to model window for TinyMC toolbar button. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about WordPress plugin with TinyMC editor. So if I back to browser, now inside this post section just click on add new and here is the guys actually the button we have added in our previous video session called OWT pop-up so when I click on this button nothing happens or nothing inside any fields inside this model window so inside this video session guys we are going to add some of the fields to this model and also we'll try to get all the values after filling that actually input fields all the values actually we are going to render inside this editor so if I back to our github repository these are the codes guys actually we have uploaded so if I click on editor.js because in our previous video session guys actually we have made that window manager so scroll down and now here is the window that we have made called editor.windowmanager.open this is the window have made so right here actually we haven't added any of the input fields inside this window manager so we are going to add some of the input fields to this manager inside this video session now just back to editor so this is the file called editor.js where actually we have coded all the codes of tinymc editor so and now we are going to some add some of the codes inside this object so right now we have three properties called title height and the width so next property we are going to add for our input fields called the body so let's say body basically this will be an array because we are going to store some of the objects for our input fields if you like suppose if we are going to add some text box some of the checkbox radio buttons and many more so all the fields actually we will provide in the format of an object inside this body array so let's say that we are going to add a input type text box okay so just I'm going to inside this array and let's say that the first object that we are going to add some of the text box so this is object for our text box okay so first we have to pass called the type what input type actually we want so we want a text box so basically it will be text box next we are going to provide some of the name attribute to this text box so let's say name let's say my text box or OWT txt box this is the name attribute of this text box next we have what we are going to pass we are going to pass from the label section because what basically the value asking for this text box so let's say that enter name it will be a key something called label and inside this key let's say enter name okay these three fields actually we have specified for this text box next we have what we are going to pass we are going to pass a auto focus property basically it's auto focus on loading this page actually by getting the true value text box will be highlighted so if I save this file just go to browser reload this section now if I click on OWT pop-up as we can see here we have a field here is the label here is the input type text box and if I inspect that now as we can see that inside this text box we have a name property so let me find out now as I think guys actually name attribute hasn't been actually attached with our this text box okay so leave that property for now so right now we have made a text box with the label name and the type text box next we have to add our let's check box so just scroll down we are going to add another object inside this body array or let's say one more text box we want so if I copy this object just I'm going to paste it here and let's say that OWT its email address so right now what is the use of this property we will see in a bit okay so its name or its email so basically we have added two text box actually one is asking for the name and the second is asking for the email so just save this file again go to browser reload this section click on OWT pop-up and now we have two fields 
so we are going to remove this autofocus property from here because we want that on page reload we want that this text box should be highlighted now next we are going to add some of the checkbox so just copy that again paste here scroll down now this is the type text box so right now there is no property called text box of this checkbox so it should be checkbox okay so type equal to checkbox and let's say that name so OWT let's say CHK box label what we want so let's say that please check to like this this is a simple checkbox guys actually we have specified a label message something called please check to like this and this is the name attribute so we want that by default actually this checkbox basically checked Okay, so we are going to specify one more property for the checked property so let's say that it should be checked and we have to pass called the true value so this property actually assign a default check to this checkbox now if I save this file just go to browser reload this page now if I click on OWT pop-up as we can see that here we have three input fields first enter name enter email and now here is the checkbox called please check to like this so by default it will be checked because we have added a property called checked and actually it contains the true value so if I convert it as a false value so let's say false now if I save that reload this browser click on this icon and now here as we can see that checkbox is gone so just back to editor and let's say that it should be by default should be checked okay now next we are going to make a drop down let's say which actually asking for some of the options to select okay so we are going to make a drop down list to so just just copy that paste here and basically instead of this checkbox we have called list box this is list box we have to specify a name property so let's say wt list box okay there is no attribute of check property so label so something like that please select playlist okay it contains some of the values actually from that value we are going to select any specific value from this list box so how can we store those values so we have one more attribute inside this object and something called values this will be an array because it contains all the properties all the values inside a pair of objects okay so let's say that we are going to store some of the objects values so inside this object we have called text let's say that OWT metabox tutorial so let's say metabox tutorial next we have a value and something called this is a simple text now by selecting this text we have a value called OWT let's say value let's say meta box this is a value means when we select this text then this value will be assigned okay so just I am going to put a comma copy this object paste it here paste it here and let's say four values we want so this is let's say sort codes tutorial so this is something called sort code okay next OWT plugin development tutorial or plugin tutorial so this should be OWT let's say plugin and finally let's say cake PHP OWT and finally it should be cake PHP so basically guys we have assigned four different values to this drop down so if I save this file go to browser reload this page now if I click on this OWT pop-up here as we can see that here is the list box so when I click on that here are the four values that we have developed called OWT meta box sort codes plugin and the kick PHP values now if I select or if I put any values inside this boxes so let's say that enter name so let's online web tutor something called abcd at gmail.com it should be checked and let's say that plugin tutorial so if I click on this OK button nothing happens now we want that after clicking on OK button we are going to retrieve all the values from this pop-up and store inside this editor so how can we take all the values from those fields so just back to editor 
now we are going to add one more property inside this object okay so let's say that this is an array because this array contains all the input values of this body parameter okay so after closing this body parameter after that we have to actually put one more parameter one more attribute something called on submit because we want to retrieve all the values after the form submission after getting all the values from these boxes okay so let's say on submit this will be a function and now basically inside this function we have a parameter to fetch all the values so basically inside this function we have to pass a parameter called event values this is nothing this is a parameter we have passed inside the function to control all the values of these body parameters or simply let's say e okay so if i just make a console let's say console.log now let's say e dot data so if i save this file this is basically to collect all values from model window so if i save this file go to browser reload this section just open up our window let's inspect now go to console clear out first and i'm going to pass off the values so let's online web tutor next something abcd at gmail.com checked and let's say that kick page tutorial so if i click on submit button did okay so now inside as we can see that here inside console here we have an object object contain four properties something called owt checkbox email list box and the text box so if i zoom that basically guys as we can see that here we have four keys and now all four keys basically are related with our name attribute as we have remembered that OWT CA checkbox is the key that we have made for the checkbox and this is the key we have specified now if you go back OWT email this is the key we have written for this box so basically this is the use of name attribute inside this object now we are going to take all the values and now put all the values inside our let's editor okay so first of all just make comment of this line and let's say that editor dot and basically in our previous video session guys we have made use to actually insert any content inside our editor by the help of a method as you have remembered called editor dot insert content so this is the method we are going to use so just scroll down and let's say editor insert content so inside this editor we are going to insert all the values actually we have fetched from our model window so let's say that first listen name so basically name should be what values actually we have filled to this text box so let's say e dot data and the object key something called owt text box okay because this is the name so let's say dot owt underscore text box this is a object property so by the help of this object we have fetched something called e .data dot owt text box next we have to retrieve called the email so let's say email let's say e dot data dot and the property name something called owt email so let's say owt underscore email so this is the second property we have retrieved in the third property let's say that something called list box property so let's say playlist selected now inside this we have to store a value something called e dot data dot and something called owt underscore list box next the final and fourth value something called let's say liked okay because it contains only true and false value so e dot data dot and the, we have a key called owt checkbox so owt chk box so these are the values guys actually we have fetched from the object that actually we have retrieved after clicking on submit button okay or ok button so if i save this file go to browser just close this inspect 
reload this section now if I click on OWG pop-up let's pass some of the values to online web tutor abcdrgmail.com OWT let's say that sort code tutorial so click on OK button now as we can see that here we have values called name let's say email playlist selected and this is like true so all these values guys actually we have fetched from this model window so by the help of this video session guys actually we understood about that how can we implement about the input fields inside model window and also we have seen that how can we insert our content from those selected box to our editor so for that we have used a method called editor.insertContent and also if you want to actually insert some of the input fields inside model window we have to use called the body parameter now here we have to pass the array of objects each object indicates a specific field so what is the use of name attribute now so basically to use that actually if you want to retrieve the values of this text box so this property is useful and finally to detect the OK button clicked we have a property called on on submit so by the help of this on submit actually we will get all the values from this model window so as I think guys that by the help of this video session we understood about implement or adding our met model fields to our model window and also we have seen that how can we actually retrieve all the values and insert to editor so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day